To balance this equation, barium nitrate plus sodium sulfate yields barium sulfate plus sodium nitrate. We're going to count the atoms up in each side of the equation. So over on the reactant side, we have the one barium. And then you'll notice that this NO3 here, I'm counting it as one thing. It's the nitrate ion. And if we have a nitrate ion, an NO3 here and over on this side, it's often easier just to count it as one item. So I have the one nitrate here and this two applies to everything in the parentheses. So one times two, I have two nitrate ions. Then I have the two sodium. And then for the sulfate, the SO4, because I have an SO4 here, I'm just going to count this as one thing. I'm not going to separate the sulfur and the oxygens. On the product side, barium, one. I have one NO3. Sodium, one. And then I have one sulfate. So that makes things a lot faster and a lot cleaner when we try to balance. It looks like the nitrates and the sodiums are off. We have twice as many of each on the reactants as the products. So I'm just going to put a 2 right here in front of the NaNO3 and then update my numbers. So I have 1 times 2 for the Na. That means I have two sodium atoms. Those are balanced. And then nitrate, I have the one nitrate group times the 2. That gives me two of those, and we're done. This equation is balanced. The key here, it's okay to think of the nitrate as one item, as long as you have the same thing on both sides. Same goes for the sulfate. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaNO32 plus Na2SO4 yields BaSO4 plus NaNO3. Thanks for watching.